look at all this. Wonderful to see you, Rangers. I heard Mr. Howe found himself a pretty blonde thing. Really? And what did his wife say to- You're back. Did you find out anything more? Accomplice in the city, as I suspected. Please, confront this woman and arrest her peacefully, if possible. The city is already on edge. Bloodshed now would only make it worse. Good luck, Rangers. play on these streets. Now there's blood on them. Hello, hello and welcome to the wonders, fabulous, most fabulous home of the one more family. What is your business at the more existed? Rangers, so good to see you. Thank you again for saving my life. I knew the security system needed more security checks, and fewer show tunes. Blast. You are the Rangers, correct? I expected our paths to cross eventually. Let me express my thanks for saving my son Bellamy in the Garden of the Gods. All I can manage is the ineloquent gratitude of a father who thought he lost his child. May I help you with something? Their names are Valor, Victory, and Liberty. They are Saul Buchanan's children. He loves them as only a father can. I understand that, love. That's all I should say. Please, ask me about anything else. Most of my time is spent researching and developing technology. In time, I believe we can restore our standard of living to that of the legendary pre-war days in the 1980s. Eh, who knows? Someday we may even exceed it. Goodbye, Rangers.
I know we've met before, Rangers, but it is extremely rude to break into a man's house unannounced. Hey, wonderful news. Please accept this small token of my gratitude. Goodbye, Rangers. That's where the big boss lives. Hmm? Yes? Oh, <laughs> hello! Uh, you must be the Rangers. I'm Diligent Joe, uh, the Patriarch's personal secretary. I make sure uh, only people who have official business with him get past his door. <laughs> you, uh, due to the importance of your mission, have Mr. Buchanan's leave to enter as necessary. Of course, uh, that privilege could be revoked at any time, but for now, uh, please go on in. Hello, Joe. Ah, Miss Wesson. You, you have my deepest sympathies on the deaths of your, your family. Thank you, Joe. Uh, it used to be that we held town hall meetings where citizens could bring their grievances before him, but uh, that practice has changed in the last year or so uh, due to uh, security concerns. Good day. Imagine the jolly times around this table. Welcome. How are you settling in? Not at all. Now, what can I do for you? Ask them. Why? Are you getting ideas? I've got years left to make that decision, Rangers. And I'm certainly not going to make it while all this is going on. Used to be my strongest supporters. Until we had an argument about how quickly democracy should be instituted in Colorado. When they lost that argument, they tried to usurp me, and... Well... Until they attacked the city, I thought I'd wiped out the whole family. Apparently, Neelius led some of them into the wilderness. I should have been more thorough. I assume it was Liberty who put them up to the raid. They were never this clever before. Can you blame me? If she wasn't as bloody-handed as she is brave, I'd have already passed the throne to her. Unfortunately, she has no interest in governing, only ruling. The nation as you see it is my life's work. Only fools expand beyond their ability to govern. Fine. Ask them. 
Fine. Before you go, thank you for saving that Arapaho caravan. The power armor they were carrying will help keep my marshals safe, which will keep the citizens of Colorado safe. Now get going, and come back with results. Spirits filled the place. Now, they do not. finds its way to you, as it is the last I am ever likely to give. Whatever becomes of us, must blame yourself. I know you would have wanted to be here at the end, but I'm glad you are not. Open the door, Wesson! Time to face justice! Your mother and I love you very much, and we are so proud of you. You are destined for great things, Miss Lucille Wesson. I regret that I shall not live to... Oh, thank God. You're the Westerners, aren't you? The Rangers? My husband, my hearty, was an Aspen when Vic Buchanan raided the town. Vic took him hostage, but there's been no word for weeks. I know it's frightful wicked to hope for the safety of one soul over many, but I beg you. Find him. Save him if you can. No need to beg, Mrs. Knox. We have business of our own with Vic Buchanan. If your husband's alive, we'll find him. I didn't see you there, Lucia. You're a good girl. Always have been. I'm dreadful sorry for your loss. We have money, Rangers. Even though we don't live fancy like some families do, if you bring my hearty home safe, we'll donate all we can to your cause. a little on the portly side, always well-dressed, but he likes playing cowboy out on the ranch. Kindest man in the hundred families. That's why I married him. Yes, but we're homebodies, and neither of us is very political. We own bison ranches out east, supply Colorado Springs with half its meat. Let 
me see who... Allie Blue? Aunt Allie? My goodness, of course! I'd love to read this! Blue is my maiden name. Back in the old days, the Blues and the Noxes hated each other. Old Aunt Allie almost shot me when I told her I was gonna marry Hardy. Always wanted to know what things were like when she was young. Oh, thank you, Rangers. Let me give you something for this. I know you will. Thank you, Rangers. Rangers, check me out. Thanks so much for ensuring we got this shipment of power armor. Hey, fuck you. Our job is tough. Those shit stirring refugees are breeding all the time, so someone's got to do some population control. Sure as hell ain't you. Anyway. These refugee vermin aren't going to punch themselves. Thanks again, Rangers! Y'all seem nice, but if you got business with the Carters, you should talk to Mama. What do you want from Mama Carter? Maybe so. Where are those refugees now? Shit! I knew I shouldn't have trusted those assholes, but they were the only ones who deal with me. Guess I know why they're so flexible on their price. <laughs> I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to lift a finger for them. So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? She'll be safe in the Ranger lockup. Reyes would want her in jail. He's a powerful man to have as a friend. And the Rangers could use some powerful friends. Well, am I under arrest? Oh no, you ain't. You'll have to go through us first. Stand down, Bobby. These are the same folks who shot up the door season the Garden of the Gods. They must have killed Stenerud and his smugglers, too. We don't stand a chance against them. This ain't worth the lives of my boys. I'll go quietly.
copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? Old Mama Cotter? A criminal? <laughs> Who would have thought? Dispatching a squad, over and out. Really? And what did his wife say to that? I heard you were speaking to some people at the refugee camp. Do you have any news? Thank you. I'm glad this ended bloodlessly. You handled an impossible situation well, Rangers. At least this will give the city some breathing room. Our resources are stretched, but I think we can feed the people who are already here. For now. As am I. Now for your reward. The money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Also, one other thing. If you have me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Honored even. You're quite a remarkable outfit. And I'd like to help you out. Excellent. Let me get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. Looking forward to what we can accomplish together, Rangers. Breaker 1-9, this here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Ha! Ain't you nosy. Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Huh, forgotten already? Damn. Well, I served under General Vargas back when we were fighting that creep, Matthias the Messiah. Got sent out here to Colorado to reconnoiter a while back, and well, things took an unexpected turn. I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you, because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were gonna make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. Why do you think? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him, but when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. His name is Ironclad Cordite, 
a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. I don't reckon he would, no. But then he wouldn't approve of you talking to me, either. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. Why wouldn't you? I dealt straight with you so far, right? Didn't I tell you the truth about McTavish? Don't I always tell you the truth? Come on, Red Hat, it's me, your old buddy Charlie. Don't worry. Your old buddy Charlie won't sell you short. We just need a little assistance and you'll be paid handsomely. Really now, Red Hats? What's the point of saying no to such a lucrative proposition? Here's what I'll do. I'll give you some time to think about it. When you inevitably come to the conclusion that the answer should have been yes, you can find us in a hideout near the old parking lot, outside the bazaar. We'll be waiting. Good to be here. We're the mechanics Gideon Ray has sent. Uh, don't mind the mess. We're still settling in. We've had to make do with worse. In all honesty, though, this is a good space. Lots of room. Lots of supplies in reach. Give it a few more days and we'll give you a garage that'd make Steel Town go green with envy. Well, Wrench said he met a mechanic up in the bazaar who had some real talent. Now, we don't really need more personnel, but it wouldn't hurt to have an extra set of hands. If you find yourself in the bazaar, see if you can find him and invite him over. Appreciate it. Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. The hell they're in! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it. And now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our space? I'm just saying. Oh, Team November, I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. Nothing serious. No one was hurt. Some harsh words and a shove. Sergeant Gretzky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to get your people under control. Gretzky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments, but today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem is not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but... There's more than a few who ain't, calling us names as they walk past, or telling us we're on borrowed time here, in our own home. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. Yeah, well, we're waiting. We gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then. And they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. Shoot! with us? Uh, uh, wow. Thank you, Rangers. It's an honorable choice, Team November, but it won't lessen the friction. I'm afraid we'll pay for this later. Rangers, good to see you. I'll be here. It's great to be here, Rangers. I love what you've done with the place. Now, what can I do for you? Wonderfully, thank you for asking. Your staff is so accommodating. That's what I'm here for. How can I help? Sadly, I don't think a peaceful transition is possible anymore, Rangers. Your support of Farron Brico really angered Sheriff Daisy. 
You might win her back to your side, but it would take years. Far longer than the time frame we'd need for a smooth transition. I'm afraid I have no suggestions for what other course of action you might take now. And honestly, I don't think I want to hear your plans. But I will still make myself available to you if you require general information. That's what I'm here for. How can I help? You mean a transfer of power to you? Storming the palace and fighting the marshals? Confronting old Saul in his throne room? Because that is what it would come to. I suppose it might be possible to give Colorado the future I've been dreaming for her in that scenario, but it wouldn't be certain. It wouldn't even be likely, so... So, I'm afraid I'd have to say no. I would not support you. Thus, if you want me to remain here and to continue giving you advice, I would advise you not to tell me if that is the course you are intending to follow. Why would you want to? The man is a thug and corrupter and should have no place in this city. Oh, uh, well. Go on, Mr. Reyes. I can take it. Uh, if you insist, Marshal Kwan. The marshals are our police force here in Colorado Springs, but let's say their focus isn't so much on solving crime as deterring it. Most problems are dealt with using the gun and the boot, rarely the head. They're also known to look the other way if enough money changes hands. Therefore, this is a town where help from the marshals is for those who can pay for it. Those who can't, fear them. Was that a fair assessment, Marshal Kwan? Ah, uh, um... They are fools. But unfortunately, because they own Colorado's only oil fields, we have to suffer with them. They worship a dead president as a god and walk around talking and acting like they were cowboys out of a child's picture book of the Old West. Ridiculous people. Saul should have dealt with them years ago. Despite the Patriarch's belief that he built Colorado on his own, he couldn't have done it without the support of the Hundred Families. He protects us, true, but without our money, he'd be protecting us with sticks and stones, not tanks and guns. We are the money and the power here, and the keepers of the values of our survivalist forebears. Strong alone, but stronger together, like the mountains. Anyone who intends to rule here would have to appease the families first. A regrettable byproduct of difficult times. I wish them well, but I'd advise you not to waste resources on them. They come and go and won't be able to assist with your ambitions. Certainly. I'm honored that you value my opinion. Go on, certainly. Who are you interested in? He is everything you have ever been told about him and more. A man who built a state with nothing but his bare hands and brute will. Even in his current state, he is dangerous. Indeed, I'd argue he's more dangerous now than he was in his youth. A man who is terrified of losing his place in the world will do anything to keep it. Anything. I... I loved him once. Worshipped him. Now I just fear him. Fear what he could do to Colorado if he continues to unravel. Who else are you interested in? Stay away from him if you can. Victory Buchanan isn't sane. He's 
A spoiled, homicidal brat who needs to be put down like a rabid dog. Uh, not that I would condone murder, Marshal. No, of course not. That would be illegal. Forgive me, I shouldn't have... Uh, just be careful, that's all I'm saying. People who spend too much time in Victory's presence don't live long. Who else are you interested in? I've always felt a bit sorry for Valor. Book smart and quiet in a family where neither of those things were valued. But he grew up a peevish young man, always alert to slights, whether real or imagined. He ended up believing he was better than everyone else because he was misunderstood. And that's why he stays with the Gippers, I think. They understand him. Or at least pretend to. Who else are you interested in? She was a terrifying little girl and grew up to be a terrifying woman. I have never known anyone so able to focus or so certain of their path. She believes she is destined to rule Colorado and will not stop until she succeeds. But if she succeeds, ooh, woe to us all. Colorado will become a war machine and all us citizens merely fuel for its ever-grinding engines. Who else are you interested in? <laughs> well, Reyes? Uh, well, I would say Sheriff Daisy is a woman to be both admired and feared. She is fair, but doesn't forget. And she is slow to forgive. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Who else are you interested in? I wish that man had never come here. His legitimate business is the Little Vegas, a casino and brothel downtown. But he also runs a criminal empire, selling drugs, weapons, and information to anyone who can pay, including our enemies. I think the Patriarch allowed him to stay because he thought the people needed entertainment. But the Little Vegas hardly qualifies it's a lurid pit of lost wages and despair. Disgusting. As for the man himself, he wears all the trappings of class. Fine suits, shoes, jewelry. But he's a thug at heart, no matter how hard he tries to hide it. Who else are you interested in? Certainly. Safe travels, Rangers. I've done nothing wrong, and you know it. I know you did what you did with the best of intentions. But it still broke the laws of Colorado. Yeah? And what else could I have done? You could have asked for assistance. Gone through proper channels. And what channels would those be? Name one that would have helped those people. Well... I thought so. It's true. It sometimes takes the law a while to catch up with justice. But you just have to keep prodding it. Ha! <laughs> like I'm gonna prod Saul Buchanan's carbuncle backside while there's innocent people dying out east every day. You're a good woman, Hope, but you gotta wake up. Just cause you're doing right by the refugees now don't make you a saint, you little side winding snake shits. Dead synth is better than one loose in the city. Still, I would have liked to have done an interrogation and learned what its motives were. Ah, well, I'm sure this was the safest course of action. Mama Cotter has been a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I know anyone that uncompromising about their ideals. I don't even think she's that wrong. She just mm, went about it badly. Protecting and helping the weak and unfortunate? That is certainly a form of justice. <laughs> but she did break the law so, so, so many times and would have undoubtedly continued. I fear the marshals would have killed her for that, regardless of her good intentions. Good luck out there.
November, this is Ranger HQ. A couple vehicles rolled up and set up right outside our base. Real shady characters. Their leader is a woman named La Perla, who claims to have business with the Rangers, but won't specify what it is to us. Ring any bells? Copy that, November. We'll have them hold outside until you return. Over and out. Rangers, can't thank you enough for looking out for my family. This man's been torn apart. Oh, look. Wolverine tracks. this on yourself.
gonna vomit.
I think we got a live one here. Who are you? You're not my family. You go away now. I'm sorting through dreams for my brother. I'm... Unless you have some more candies? Root beer flavored dreams for my brother. He's real nice. Randy. He always said we'd build us a place one day. Me, mommy, daddy, and him. We'll all live up in the blue sky together. He has to come back first, though. Do you want some of these? They're my very last ones. The gummies say it's okay to chew on them. It's respectful. And they taste so sweet. came from the flatlands. Mummy and Daddy left. Then the doggies came for the candy and Mummy and Daddy and the bad men are gone, but there's lots of candy. This poor girl. Oh man, I... You won't melt like mommy and daddy, right? I didn't like it. Except for the jump ropes they made me. That was okay. I like those. Um, can I bring them? Yay! You're not actually so mean, are you? We can be friends. Do you want to be friends? I'll teach you how to talk to the moon, okay? But you have to be real quiet, real quiet. And you gotta eat a few dreams first. Sister, safe and sound and all in one piece, but... Wait, what about everyone else? What? Oh, oh I, I see. Need a... Oh, honey girl, Nita. I'm so, so, so sorry. I, I should have come for you sooner. Thank you, Rangers. I'll deal with this. It's a family matter, after all. And Nita... She deserves to be with her family. I'll... We'll speak again soon, Chabes. I promise. I can't believe you brought Nita back to me, Rangers. Hey, say thanks, Nita. My brother's dreams are sorted. Got any 